and welcome to the next episode of the Klingberg Wing Mark II Development. I'm Raul Klingberg, your host. It's been a while since my last video, and there's a good reason for that. I've been extremely busy finishing the glider, which of course is important. Um, in the meantime, weather conditions went by. We're into winter, uh, approaching spring, and we're now ready to test, but we don't have the good weather conditions. So in the meantime, I thought I'd take you on a tour of the transportation box for the glider. I think it has some interesting features that uh, you might find useful in your own projects. So first, let's look at uh, what holds the covers on the front. We're looking at the front end of the uh, box here, and uh, I'm going to open up this cover so you can see how we're securing the glider inside. I have a series of latches that hold the covers on the front and rear of the box, and they're just little over center latches like that. And just undo them, and off comes the cover. Easy peasy. Now, You'll see here, let me show you the inside of the box here. Uh, the whole box is built out of one inch thick Adao styrofoam. Uh, this is the expanded, poly, not expanded, this is the extruded polystyrene. And I generally glue these panels together with the uh, urethane foam in place stuff that you normally use for insulation. And then around the outside, uh, on the outside we have one layer of six ounce fiberglass and then I built a flange on the end here to go over the outside. And this is how the entire uh, box is built. Okay, so here on the end, I have a uh, half inch thick plywood frame uh, that rigidizes the end of the box and the fiberglass is wrapped around that. So this is a nice rigid box side to side. And then on the uh, edge of the box, I've put on weather stripping on here and that keeps the cover tight so that you push the cover on and you close the latches and it pulls it up tight to that weather strip and it keeps it from rattling around during transport. So uh, at this end of the box, the front end of the box, we have uh, uh, two levels. We have a lower level that has the main wings in here and, and we have an upper level here. This is where the center section of the glider goes in with the pilot's cage. It slides in from this end. There's a, a, a bracket at the back that holds the back end down and then there's a little strap here that goes through the, uh, the nose of the glider and Velcro is in place to hold the front end down. A little padding here to keep it from getting scuffed up. Uh, what holds the wing in place during transport is a couple of these plywood brackets that I built and what this is as soon as I get it off of here there we go um, it's uh, simply a plywood box that is shaped to fit over the attachment fittings of the wing uh, this is where the wing tips attach uh, to the end of the main panels uh, this is just half inch plywood it's got a couple of layers of fiberglass thin fiberglass over it to give it strength and it bolts down to this base plate here that distributes the loads into the box. So this prevents the wing from going side to side and up and down and in any of the twisting motions. It just keeps it locked in place. And to uh, transport, just put those back on, put these wing nuts back down, screw it down tight in place and the wing can't go anywhere at this end. Okay, so let's go down and take a look at the other end where we remove the uh, main wing panels. I think we should stop here so that I can show you uh, the basic construction of the box. Uh, it's a series of two foot panels of the Dow styrofoam and there's a every two feet there's a plywood ring that runs all the way around. And you'll see that the fiberglass is bonded to that ring. So that's where most of the strength of the box comes from. That way we can get a box that's really light uh, yet very strong. Uh, one layer of six ounce fiberglass over this. It can be dented uh, but it's strong enough for transport and handling. Uh, if it gets dented, it's not a big deal. I just didn't want to put two layers on here and double the weight of the box. That would be bad. The bottom of the box has a one, uh, one eighth inch thick uh, layer of plywood on it. And that was probably one of the main mistakes uh, on the box because that plywood weighs nearly 30 pounds for the length of the box, which is a lot. And I probably should have just done two or three layers of fiberglass, would have been much better off. But, you know, in for a penny, in for a pound, and it's the way that it is now. You also note that the box is ugly. I haven't painted it yet. We don't know what the glider is going to fly like. We don't know if it's going to be any good or not. Uh, so I didn't see any reason to put time and money into painting the box at this point. So let's go down and take a look at the other end. So at this end, we have the same basic arrangement. I've already removed the cover. There's a weather strip here around the plywood frame. Keeps the cover on tight. We've got the little latches that hold it in place. So the cover comes off for easy removal of all the components. So what you're looking at here on this end are the main wing sections uh, secured with the uh, plywood box and a little framework here that grabs onto all of the major fittings uh, at the root end of the wing. 
uh, to keep it stabilized during transport, uh, analogous to what we looked at at the other end. And what sits on top of the wing here, this is the winglet and uh, winglet mount combo here. And we showed up little uh, um, uh, covers here made out of uh, uh, furniture blankets that you use for moving. Got a little bit of Velcro on here so that we can uh, undo them easily. And these get uh, wrapped up this way to protect them during transport. Now nominally, this uh, winglet and the wing tip are held in place with uh, webbing, one inch wide webbing straps, uh, and they're tied on to the main wing sections. Uh, but I did this just for uh, demonstration purposes here. So here's the wing tip, uh, and two wing tips fit in here. So we would have two wing tips over here, and they got the two winglets over here, they all fit in, and they get strapped to the main wing section. So to deploy the glider, we would. Uh, there's a series of thumb screws here, which I've already taken out. We take out the thumb screws, and then this swings out like this. We can just take this off, and you can see on the back side how I've designed this with uh, notches in it to fit over the root end fittings of the wing and to sit on uh, the leading edge tube uh, fittings. And so the wing can't twist this way. It can't go up and down. Can't go side to side. Uh, so it's well secured in place that way. Uh, so normally when you're out in the field, you just set this aside and let me get this little bit of debris out of the way here and you'd come in like this and you lift up the two main wing panels together and we slide them out just like this. Now I'm taking this out so I can show you the pads. Okay, so uh, normally you'd slide the whole wing out and set it on the ground, but I put it here on a sawhorse uh, so that it can show you the padding system and how it slides in and out. Uh, nominally, it's uh, transported with the control cables wrapped up like this, and they just hang there. They're fine like that. Um, the flaps themselves, in order to keep the transportation box a little narrower, I've designed it so that the flaps uh, can be moved all the way to the inside like this, and they sit on top of each other with a little pad in between, and uh, that saved about three inches or so of, of width on the box, which is helpful. And so then when you deploy, you just take the straps off and the flaps, the spring that uh, returns the flaps just pulls them around and everything's fine that way. Okay, so let's go over here and take a look at the pad that holds this thing. And we wanna look at this area right here. Let me get rid of this. That's a strap that normally holds the, okay. Uh, so there are two of these pad units uh, that I made uh, to act as a sling and a transportation method for the, and padding method for the wings. All I did was take uh, some uh, camping pads, these high density blue pads, half inch thick, and I used contact cement, spray on contact cement, to glue on this nylon uh, Dacron cloth. It's probably six ounce cloth, something like that. Um, and there's a bottom one that goes all the way around, all the way to the back, and that's what the wing sits on when it's transporting in the box. And then there's a flap here. This is, flap is sewn on, and it goes about halfway across the wing, and it provides padding between the two wing sections. And to, to take it out, we just undo the clip, and then you can lift up the wing, and this, this pad would, would come out. Normally do that on the ground. So that shows the whole setup like that. It's very simple, very lightweight, inexpensive, and provides uh, sufficient padding for the wing. There's two of these, uh, one up by the tip, and one of its features is, is the fabric that's glued onto the foam is very slippery. Uh, and when it's sliding into the case, this is uh, the surface that takes the wear and tear of sliding it in and out. I didn't want to do anything fancy with rollers or slides or anything like this. And, and I consider these so easy to make that, you know, after a season, if they get wore out, we just make, make a new one. Um, and this is quite slippery on the styrofoam. That's how we slide the whole thing in. Uh, and I really do like the KISS principle. We like to keep it simple. Uh, and it just makes it easier to use that way. So there we go. That's the whole setup with a transportation container. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll uh, answer as best I can. And if you'd like to have one of these dandy hats that I have on here, they are available. There is a link and instructions down in the video description. Uh, order one of these and join the team. 
Uh, and if you uh, really want to get involved with this project, there's a great way to do that. You go to my Patreon channel and you sign up at one of the levels there. Any level is welcome. I've got lots of goodies to send you at every level. Um, and uh, I think the high flights level is the best because that's where you get the simulator uh, that goes with X-Plane. If you happen to be an X-Plane owner or you'd like to play with X-Plane, uh, we, we have a sim full simulator of this glider. You can actually fly the glider before I do uh, if you come in at the high flights level. Uh, you get that uh, gratuity that way. That, that is an extra, extra gimme that you get. Um, so I hope you become a member at Patreon uh, or at the very least pick up a hat and that helps fund this whole project and I appreciate any support that I can get. It's always very, very helpful. And please uh, hit the subscribe button down below so that you get and hit the notification that little bell thing there hit the notification so that you get automatic notifications of when we go out to test fly. Uh, when we test fly I'm going to try to live stream the first test flights and that's something you certainly don't want to miss. So until then fly safe and thanks for watching. Bye for now.